I tried to get in touch with Luke for you, but I wasn't able to do it. Oh? Well, how come? Open. She's not at work. I uh, called Rose at the diner, and she took the message, but she said she doesn't know when she's going to be able to see him and be able to give it to him. Mm-hmm. She's got a part-time job, so he's not there as much as he used to be. Hmm. Well, I'll get the message eventually, so don't worry about it. I just can't guarantee what it's going to be. Thank you. Uh, listen, I don't want to let you know that I really appreciate this. Okay, if you don't have any other personal errands for me to run, I've got a lot of other patients waiting for me. Yeah, I'll bet you do. I bet you got them waiting in line, Red. Hutch, let's keep this a nurse-patient relationship, okay? Well, it just seems like a waste of something. It just seems like we could be having a lot better relationships. You're going to have to have your better relationships with somebody else. I'm not available. <clears throat> oh, Bobby, how is the uh, patient doing? His health is fine, no rise in temperature. Something wrong? Uh, no, uh, don't mind me. I guess I'm just out of sorts. Um, if there's nothing else, Dr. Quarterman, I have patients waiting for me. Yeah, well, you go ahead, Bobby. I'll check out the patient. I cut this article out of the Port Charles Chronicle this morning. It's the lead article in the society section. Read it. Dr. and Mrs. Alan Quartermain are giving their annual Christmas party this year to welcome their cousin, Alexandria Quartermain, to the city of Port Charles. Miss Quartermain has been residing in Europe for the past several... What about it? Mr. Cassidyne has given orders that I am to find a way to attend that party. Oh? The quarter means I'm sure we wish to enlarge their staff that evening. If so, it will give me an excellent opportunity. Very well, sir. Uh, you will be sure to realize that I must find a way into the quarter main house. Oh, yes, indeed I do, sir. but Miss Quartermain hasn't come into work yet. Can I take a message? You're mistaken. I'm very much in. Uh, excuse me, please. Could you hold on? I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there. I have a Mr. Sinclair on the telephone calling from London. Would you like to speak to him? No, I don't think so. I'd rather speak to Laura Weber Baldwin of Port Charles. What should I tell Mr. Sinclair? Tell him that I'm expected in later and then I'll phone him. All right. And then come into my office. Oh, and love, bring me a cup of coffee. Speak to me? Yes, please sit down. Oh, I, uh, I told Mr. Sinclair that you would call him back. Thank you. Oh, Laura, do try to relax. You're making me nervous by acting so nervous. Sorry. I, uh, I guess I am a little bit nervous. Have I done something wrong? No, not that I know of. You don't have to feel insecure about your job. Oh, good. Well, that is a relief. Although I did find it a bit strange that you neglected to tell us who you were, that you didn't explain yourself. I'm sorry. I just assumed that Mr. Quartermain would uh, tell you about me. Did he? Well, my family has known the Quartermains for quite some time. Well, I must admit it did come as a surprise to me. Mm. Excuse me, forgive me. 
Luke and I just danced at the disco till it closed, and and then as if that wasn't bad enough, we talked till the wee hours of the morning. It was just ridiculous. Did you really? Oh, but it's nothing for you to worry about. It was strictly business. Oh, well, what you talk about is none of my business. Well, I just wouldn't want you to get the wrong impression. How could I possibly? Well, well, well. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Mr. Quartermain. Oh, hello, Edward. How are you? Mm. Well, and I was just having a nice little shot, getting to know each other. Well, that's wonderful. I'm glad to see the two of you are getting along so famously. I think our office should be one big happy family, don't you? Of course. see Miss Quartermain. Would you please tell her I'm here? Well, I can tell her, but I don't think she's going to be too happy about that because she told me that you uh, didn't have to be announced, remember? Forget it. I want to be announced. You don't have to be announced to a lady that you spent most of the night with. I spent a few hours with her last night. We can split seconds if you want. Your information's off, Laura. Alexandria couldn't wait to tell me about it this morning. In fact, she even invited me into her office and uh, brought the good news to me. No kidding. I didn't know the two of you were that tight. <laughs> well, I didn't either. But I guess we are. It must be because we have so much in common. So, why don't you just go right in there, kick your shoes off, and make yourself at home? She has a bar in her office, or else I can bring you a cup of coffee. Get off life. my back, Laura. Maybe you should save that advice for Miss Quartermain. Look, Miss, Miss Receptionist, I am here to pick up my final check. I am no longer an employee of this firm. And as far as last night goes, I spent a few hours with Miss Q while she tried to talk me out of my decision to leave. She failed. I hope you didn't quit on my account. I told you before, you overestimate yourself. I did not quit on your account. You mean nothing in my life. Well, good. I'm, I'm very glad about that because I feel the same way. I mean, I do have a terrific job here, and, uh, well, I, I certainly wouldn't quit because of you. <laughs> well, I hope not. I mean, obviously, you really enjoy working with the Quartermains, right? Oh, you bet. Oh, pension and welfare is good. Time's nice, right? I like the money. Right. That's reason enough to like any job. Are you quitting because of the danger involved? No, Laura, that's just a bunch of stuff. I'm not in any danger. I mean, thank you for warning me. Uh, but there's no danger. I mean, there's no way that... It didn't look that way to me. Well, you were wrong. It's a very simple assignment. There were a couple of complications. There's no way you can uh, equate it or compare it to what happened to us last summer. No. Nothing could compare with uh, last summer. Not for me. Do you think about it often? On. Well, I think uh, I think things worked out for the best, Luke. Things, Laura? You're quitting, I mean. You called it right. There isn't a company in the world big enough for the both of us. 